Hi, my name's Saul Cameron, and I'm a volunteer with the Hear Our Voice project at Bradford Talking Media. When Corona, the outbreak started and we went into lockdown, it, the world came a bit of a um, strange and scary place. Um, I remember going out shopping and I was very unsure and came back feeling quite uh, disturbed. <laughs> yeah, unsure of things. Uh, since then, I've become more accepting, accepting of the situation. Um, I don't really mind uh, self-isolating and being stuck, in, stuck at home because I don't have the usual social anxiety, which um, was a bit of a plague in the past. But um, I feel mainly that the this is a break from our normal life, so it's a chance to maybe um, catch up with things and use the time wisely, you know, rather than sitting at home worrying about coronavirus and moaning about being stuck at home and moaning about all the people breaking the uh, lockdown. I feel like it's a time for thinking about um, some of it's what our life would be like when we come out of lockdown and preparing for that. I think that um, using the time wisely and constructively is important. You know, be, keeping busy passes the time, you get things done. Um, and it's a bit of a break. Don't like going to the shops because there's not much stuff. And like I said, it is a bit strange and scary at the moment and it feels a bit odd. <laughs> you know, I like the quiet. I like the slower pace of life. I don't like the fact I can't get on a bus and just go out for the day, which, um, is the main bit restriction. Um, but I'm finding more and more things to do. Um, on Saturday, I had a video chat with my daughter, which sort of really made my week. <laughs> um, I've been building a portfolio of work, my work, putting that together on my website. Um, and just generally passing the time you know, doing things that I need to do. Um, my house is actually getting cleaned and sorted and it looks like a home now. <laughs> I think for the future, I'd hope that this experience, because the whole world has been kind of um, stuck in this together, we've all suffered together. Um, you know, no one's really been spared, whether they've been rich or poor or... Um, so I'd hope that it'd be kind of uh, made the world a kinder place. Um, we think about the way we are with our world and our environment and to each other a bit more. Um, I think that obviously we need to learn some lessons from it because we don't want it to happen again. Uh, we don't want the world, half the world in lockdown. Um, so there's maybe things that we could learn. Um, maybe think about tackling poverty, overcrowding, you know, um, more focus on healthcare and, you know, accessible information, really. You know, it's, um, I think that's important. This is like a worldwide event that's, um, I mean, I've lived quite a long time and I've never known anything like this before. And one of the things that um, I feel is that maybe if somebody's looking back in this, on this in a hundred years time, I think obviously they'll want to know what the world leaders think, but normal people like us, you know, we're kind of telling the story. This is our lives and how it's affecting us. I mean, you read about World War Two and that the personal diaries and that were really important. Yeah. 
and they kind of tell the story from the normal person's point of view. Being isolated has made me realize how isolated I've been in the past, and I've been thinking about maybe ways to think it, to change that, and maybe, um, you know, be take down some of the barriers between my, myself and the world. Um, and things like, um, yeah, having a nicer house and, you know, I've been looking for work, which uh, I've got time to do. I suppose that thing is, it's like, it's time to do stuff. You know, it's a space and it's a break. And it doesn't have to be all doom and gloom.